Which canned meat should you delete from your grocery list? And which canned meat should you repeat? It's time for a taste test. Welcome to the taste test. In this episode, we're doing corned meat. We scoured the city for every single type, and we have 15 different charcuterie concoctions to courageously chart. Who's gonna top and who's gonna flop? Stick to the end to find out. First up, we start in local with Sen Foods Corn Meat Original, Sen Foods Corn Meat Hot Chili, Echo Corn Beef, and Echo Corn Meat. Let's get it! Okay, so we're gonna start off with these local versions. These are all made in Botswana. We have two of each. If you can see, there's a difference in color. So one is straight out the can, the other is cooked. And we have these for each of them. Let's start over here with Sen Foods Original. This is the regular flavor. All right. Uh, oh, we started and cooked. Yeah, I thought we were going to start raw. You want to start raw? I think we should start raw. Okay, let's start raw then. Let's start raw, just right. We'll go in with the raw flavor. So we're looking for taste mm -hmm. and uh, maybe texture. What else? I'm also looking at the aroma. This tastes like corned beef. It's it's really it just reminds me of corned beef from like back in the days. You know, back in the days as a child, you didn't even call it corned beef, maybe that beef. And that's what it, it tastes like beef. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, it's nostalgia. Fried version. Fried version first, then I'm gonna give it a score. <laughs> the texture on this one, it's uh it's solid. Like I was saying, the texture is Firm, mm -hmm. not grainy. Mm. Taste is okay. So I'm gonna give this a six out of ten. Yeah, sure. I could give it a six. Okay. I could give it a six. It's good. It's firm. It's smooth. This is the Sen Foods Chili. Oh, chill out the can. Hmm. A little bit of chili. I like that it's not overpowering. Mm -hmm. Let's try the fried one. Mm, that smells good. 6 out of 10. Send food 6 out of 10. Six and a half. I'll give this a 6 and a half. Okay. Mm. Good for you. Uh, let's try the... Echo. Echo. 65% lean meat. Mm -hmm. That's more than all the other versions. Contains beef hearts as well. It's tough. Mm. And there's uh, meaty textures in there. But it's flavorless. There's flavor, but it's, it's not. It's definitely not sin foods. Let's try the fried version. So you think? Do you think it's better than the sin foods? Absolutely not. This one smells like, oh, this was just fried. But it doesn't have the... the but okay, like it has that fried beef sort of little thing, but... I think it gets points for the texture. And because it's got 65% lean meat, that counts for something. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to give Echo Corned Meat a... Uh, 7 out of 10. Okay, before you go on, I just want to ask you something. Which one would you put in a sandwich? Well... <laughs> you see, that's why I'd give this... This, this was, is like a 4. Okay, yeah, try, this, was here. this is Echo Corned Beef. Yeah. First off the bat, it just has the weirdest texture. It's not holding it's together. It's falling apart. It almost has that cereal type of thing. Okay, but it's got meat textures in there. A little bit. Has more flavor. Definitely. It just doesn't hold together as well. For cooking, I'd rather I'd rather have one of these than that one. For cooking. For a sandwich, maybe I'd rather have this one than that one. So I'm gonna this, give this flavor wise, it literally just tastes like salt. It's like salt on, on a thing. On a structure that, that acts as a vessel that is supposed to be meat like it's it's closer to like a vegan thing. And you know you know how I feel about those people. It's flavorless, just salty. This now this 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 has a bit more character. See this? For me, this imitates mm. meat mm -hmm. a whole lot better than, than these 
That looks like highly processed. Looks like halfway processed, even though this, it's falling apart. This tastes a lot better than this. I am sorry. These are fours. These are sixes. What I like about these is the texture. Okay. Maybe it's lacking in a little bit of flavor, but the texture is right up there. I hate the fact that it falls apart. It's too... I think if you cook with it, that's what you want. No, I don't. I'd rather it hold its texture. <laughs> so, also, literally just salt. I'm going to give that one a 6 out of 10. You are wild, man. <laughs> Next up, we have Bull Brand Corned Meat Chili. Bull brand corned meat chakalaka, bull brand corned meat with chicken, and bull brand corned beef. Let's do this. Bull brand has four different types on the market. Corned beef. This is 95% beef. Corned beef uh, with only 5% cereal added. The others average around 20 pula each, whilst this one costs 45 pula. Wow. So it's a premium version. Yeah, but it, it, uh, but it tastes premium. We'll find out. It's Let's start, start off with here. Yeah. So that is chili. 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 Okay. Uh, mm -mm. There's already a very cereal mm -mm. taste about it. I don't like this. I don't like this one. It's got a weird mm. taste. It added like a filler and it was too much of it. That's bad. I don't like the flavor on this one. Let's try this. Let's go with this. Mm -mm. If I knew what dog food tasted like, <laughs> I would say I would say this tastes like dog food. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's yeah, no, that's not good. Nah, that, that's like a maybe like a two. I'm gonna give them a three. Three out of ten. Rubbish. <laughs> let's okay, go, let's go. Chaka like This one smells good. I will I will straight up say this one smells really good. It smells just like chakalak. No, oh, you can even taste the chakalaka. Does the chakalaka save it? This is the question. If we're talking, does the chakalaka save it from being this? Mm. Definitely. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't hate this. I don't hate the fried one. I'm gonna give this a 4 out of 10. I'll give it a four and a half, maybe five, maybe five. Let's keep it moving. This one has chicken. Yeah, this one of the you um with the chicken ones, you see that they they're really firm and intact. Smells like cereal. No, um, I don't hate the smell. I don't know. I'm gonna reserve my comments until this one. <laughs> Pretty chewy. Mm. Highly processed. Three and a half for me. This is fine. Six. Let's keep it moving. This is the premium version. And already you can see it's got, um, it looks more like meat. You can see strands of meat in there. You can see some gelatine in there, some collagen. Smells much more like meat than all these others. Mm, it's got a meaty texture. I think it's much better than these other ones, in my opinion. Your opinion has issues there. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. See, the flavor is not really pronounced. Really not there. Really not there. But the texture is there for me. I appreciate the texture. This looks like it's gonna get a 5 out of 10 from me. You see, Kenny, the difference between you and I, I like the firmness. This. I like it being firm. You like it kind of falling apart. If you're gonna cook with it, I think this is what you want. You want it to fall apart a little bit and, and, and you know. But that's never what I want when I'm having corned beef. I like I like to have it like, especially in like a cube That's form. exactly why this show has got me and you on it. We're yeah. different. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this has to go up to a six. Okay. This is like a four and a half. So. <laughs> on to the next one. We're starting with Choppy's Corned Meat Hot. 
ShopRite's right brand corned meat, spa corned meat chili, and spa corned meat original. One thing about the choppies is that uh, it's actually produced in South Africa, not in Botswana. Mm -mm. Cereal. You, know, you can already smell that cereal. Mm -mm. I don't like the taste of this one. No, no. I can taste something weird in there. It's like uh, something inorganic. Some chemical. Let me try this one. No. I'm gonna give this one a 3 out of 10. I'll be with you there. Just that keep, one we can agree. <laughs> just keep it mean. This so, is the right brand. The texture is smooth, even mm. though it has some bigger particles in there. Taste wise, much better than that one. A lot of flavor. Yeah, I don't mind I don't mind the taste of this one as much as I hate the taste of this choppies one. I'm gonna give them a six out of ten. Six. Five. 5.5, 5.5. 5. 5. Let's keep it moving. Now we're doing spa. spa. Corned meat. We're doing one with chili first. New recipe, they say. So they used to have an old recipe that sucked. <laughs> That's exactly what it <laughs> Doesn't have that cereally type of smell. Look, you can actually see the seeds of the chili in there. And but little, you can't really taste it. Little yet. bits of chili in there. So it's got a oh, very okay. mild heat. It, yeah, it builds up just a little bit, yeah. Not bad. Not great. I'm gonna give that a 5 out of 10. 5 is a good number. 5. Let's try the the regular, right? This is the regular, just... They, yeah. were, they, smell, like, cereally. they smell like cereal. It's smooth, but it's got some... Bigger pieces of something. Tastes like a very like a mild sin foods. I feel like with every every episode, Ken just keeps on choosing things he doesn't like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give that a five out of ten. Four and a half. I prefer this one because of the spiciness. Last up, and hopefully we save the best for last with top one corned meat. Top one chicken loaf and the classic spam. Top one corned meat. This has got a little thing. A, huh? That is not a good smell. Just before 2025. Okay, it was safe. Look, it's got little, little granules of something there. You should taste it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's that built when you taste? You can't taste it. Mm -mm. One, uh, zero out of ten. Yeah. That's coriander. Uh uh. I'd say zero. Okay. Like a three. Okay, I'll be fair. Uh, two, two. Two, uh, one, one out of ten. Chicken loaf. Oh, that does not smell good. It smells like chicken polony. Chicken polony. Yeah. Kind of chicken polony you've been having. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, that was foul. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Tastes worse. Okay. Top one. I've got a long way to go. I don't think they've oh, mastered that's, this game yet. That's, that's a definite. That's a definite zero. My God. One. One out of ten. This is what I've been looking forward to the most. This is spam. Uh, it cost us a hundred pula and is originally from America, but Korea. but this one is tinned in Korea. But the, oh. the spam brand is an American brand. If somebody could have sponsored us, because then we'd have a spam donor. <laughs> and this is, it doesn't say so because, well, it might, it might say so, we can't read it, but I think this is pork, just pork. Well, that was a different one. 
I can tell you from the get-go, this smells like the one that everybody has been requesting that we couldn't find, Texan. Oh, that smells exactly like Texan. That smells like meat. Tastes like ham. Like a salty ham. I like the way that looks. That looks... Oh, that's It doesn't look bad at all. This smells very hammy. Mmm, after cooking it, it's even better. There's a, there's a different flavor profile. I like that. I can taste like real meat in there. It smells, it smells really good. This shit is delicious. I'm gonna give that a 7. I'm gonna give that an 8 out of 10. I'll, I'll give it a 7. Let's bring up the rankings so we know who topped and who flopped. Coming at number 7 is Top 1. Get that trash off the shelves. I'd rather go vegan. At number 6, we have Choppies. Number 5 is Bull Brad. Number 4, we have Spa. At number 3, we have Right Brand. And tied at number 2, Scent Foods and Echo Beef. And at number 1 is the Classic Spam. Is it worth 100 bucks? Go find out for yourself. We just know it's king. YouTube says almost 80% of the people who watch our videos are actually not subscribed, so please hit the subscribe button, it helps us out a lot. Smack the like button while you're at it, and leave a comment below. Tell us, what would you like us to review next? Till next time, I'm Ken. And I'm Tizzle. We'll see you guys on the next taste test. Peace.